Your mom played basketball with your head as a baby. Unfortunately, apparently Uncle Sam has an outerversal jab. I'm gonna go over why literally if he farts, Naruto dies. If he farts, Saiyan Saga dies for sure. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jobbers and Goons. And you know, views have been kinda sus. Make sure to go watch all my uh, recent content in the first few months on YouTube because of the way they do ads, views go down. We're trying to tank that shit, so I'd appreciate it if you show some love. And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on notification bells. I pretty much drop daily and also stream almost daily. Now, in terms of this video, we're back on our hater shit, you know? What better way to get the views back up than to hate? We're coming at the boy Hulk today. This is another installment of the jobber series in which we highlight some of the funniest l's hulk has taken if you get this video to 300 likes i will do a hulk being a jobber part two because unfortunately when you have as many comics as hulk does you're gonna job but anyways uh without further ado let's begin now first moment we're gonna talk about is the moment with abomination now this is a throwback moment in which Abomination confronts Hulk. Of course, Hulk is talking crazy because throwback Hulk had a mouth on him like he was always talking shit. And when he pulled up on Abomination, Abomination was like, look, bro, I heard I have to rock your bitch ass in order to be considered the big dog. So in order to do that, I'm going to put hands on you. So he proceeds to beat the shit out of the Hulk. And then he's like, thank God you're like bodied because now everyone's going to respect my hustle. And I was like, damn, Hulk. Get up, fight back. Yeah, he was absolutely rocking the shit out of Hulk and had that boy down. Next, we got the moment in which Hulk fumbles the bag with an amp. If you guys remember back in the dairy, there was a story in which several hammers landed on Earth. Certain characters picked them up and basically became possessed uh, by the serpent from uh, Asgardian mythos, right? And this is basically a power amp and they get different kind of hacks. Hulk has this, right? Also has, basically has fucking rune magic cornrows. He just looks fly as shit. Still gets pulled up on by Thor. That's crazy. Thor ran down on him and was like, dude, I don't give a fuck about your amp. Get Bolo and put hands on him. I'm sorry. The fact that Thor felt that comfortable in the pocket with that version of Hulk is crazy. And the fact he lost like that, hell of a jobber moment. Next puts over Thanos in horrible fashion. I'm sorry, you guys can probably hear me trying not to laugh. Thanos embarrassed the shit out of Hulk, right? Hulk runs down on him and he's swinging hard as he can, right? Like he's trying to bolo Thanos. And Thanos is just looking at him. He's, Thanos is thinking about his day. What, what, what's the rest of the plan for the day? He's like, you know, I don't need someone like Hulk. There's other plays I could make. There's other bags to get. Hulk is kind of a bum. And then you see him blast away at Hulk. Pretty much one-shotting him. And then he's like, yeah, I'm going to go do some other shit. Because ultimately, Hulk doesn't really matter. He's insignificant. And you see Hulk, like, crawling, trying to get them. And Thanos is just walking away. I'm like, dear God, Hulk. Fight back. Next, we have one of the plenty of times Wolverines actually put hands on Hulk. I'm sorry. Dumbest rivalry in comics. I don't give a fuck. How tough Wolverine's supposed to get. Hulk should not be going back and forth with Wolverine. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with me. Is Wolverine going back and forth with Hulk dumb? Let me know what you think. I personally think it's dishonorable to Hulk. Hulk should just be easily able to turn on the paste. But anyways, he pulls up on Hulk and he's like, yo, you're a bitch. Run it back. And Hulk's like, yo, I thought I put you down. He's like, nah, you're a bum. You didn't put me down. Run it back. And he starts hitting Hulk with bungalows. And Hulk was shocked. I was like, oh my god. This is so dumb. But leave it to Hulk Riders. Next, we have the 1v1 with Namor. That's right. Hulk pulls up on Namor talking crazy. And they're going back and forth. If you don't know, Namor the Submariner has always been about that fucking life. And... As they're throwing hands, Hulk's kind of talking crazy, but the battle ends up in the water. Of course, Namor is him when it comes to fighting in the water, so he kind of easily just beats the shit out of Hulk at that point. And, uh, ask in the chat, 
for that man Hulk pulling up on anywhere in the water. I don't know what he was thinking. Next, we have the unlikeliest of 1v1s. Now, this moment I'm referring to is a collision course between Lockjaw and Hulk. I know what you guys are thinking. Who's Lockjaw? Lockjaw is the dog of the Inhumans. That's right, they're pet. So Lockjaw sees Hulk and he's like, fuck the rap shit, it's time to ball. And they proceed to instantly start brawling. And Hulk's like, yo, I don't know why this dog has beef with me. He's kind of just like pulling up and putting hands on the kid, but whatever. I guess we're gonna beef, like it's whatever. So he goes to punch Lockjaw. And Lockjaw looks at his goofy ass and instantly one shots him with the teleport. And Hulk immediately was bamboozled, could do nothing about it. Shout out to the 1v1 god, Lockjaw. Next, we have one of the random ass times in 60s Hulk. Now, I'll be the first one to admit, 60s Hulk is one of the greatest rides in comics. Why? Because you never know what the fuck is gonna happen. Hulk might be fighting someone that's like, technically high outer in one panel and then getting shot down in the next by a missile <laughs> so we see hulk literally get shot down right and it basically affected the planetary weather as hulk crashed through the ozone and into the ground right and they're trying to figure out what happened and it's just it cuts to the panel of hulk <laughs> being knocked the fuck out by getting shot down. Absolutely tragic. Next, we have an unfortunate moment. And I just want this to be on record, right? Because I don't like this shit. Hulk is used to put over Silver Surfer. That's right. So, Hulk pulls up on Surfer and they start going back and forth. And this is literally a one-shot moment. Surfer looks at him and is like, Look, Hulk, I know you think you're strong. Like, I know you think you're that guy, but I don't have time for your bullshit. Like, you, you just not on my radar today. Sorry about that. And Surfer proceeds to one-shot, turn him into human, and, like, he, he just falls. Like, Hulk, Hulk's done. Hulk just gets folded like this. And I hate this shit because, as you guys know, I am the biggest Silver Surfer hater out there. And to see Hulk used to put him over an American tragedy, to say the least. It's it's just sad for Hulk. Next, we're not done. It's not just one time Hulk has put over Silver Surfer. Hulk pulls up again on Surfer, right? And Surfer's like, oh, like, I, I guess. Like, I guess you got a little stronger, Hulk. Like, I, I guess you think you're tough. But, you know, at the end of the day, I got shit to do. And it has nothing to do with you. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave the boy alone. And he proceeds to put a hand up, blast Hulk, and once more, in absolute tragic fashion, Hulk gets one shot by the Silver Surfer. It's just, it's just something we have to unfortunately admit. Like back in the day, Surfer had Hulk's number. You fucking hate to see it. I hate to see it, at least. I hate it enough for all of us. Next, we have the time that boy Hulk got caught lacking. That's right. This was Outer Suit Juggernaut catching Hulk on the block. Of course, Hulk sees um, Juggernaut. He's like, yo, fuck the rap shit. Let's brawl. So he kind of le uh, leaps in towards Juggernaut. Juggernaut's <laughs> like, bro, I know I don't have my suit on, but I'm that guy. And he tackles the shit out of him and starts punching his ass. Just starts beating his, beating him up. I mean, he was putting him in chokeholds at one point. It was embarrassing. The ass whooping that this juggernaut handed to this Hulk was fucking comedy. It, it's one of my favorite moments for sure. Next, we have an unfortunate battle again that I just think is trash. So Wolverine pulls up on Hulk and he's pissed, right? He's like, I'm not going down to you. I'm tough as shit. I got adamantium on my bones. I'm down the scrap. We ain't worried about shit. And he just blitzes forward, starts brawling, right? As he's going back and forth, 
<laughs> with Hulk. He ends up dropping him. That's right. He puts him down. And he's like, oh shit. I dropped the Hulk. It's time to dip. I fucking beat the main quest. And he gets out of there. That's right. This man dropped Hulk. Overwhelmed him. Absolutely embarrassing. Now, to the last moment of the video, make sure to smash the like button if you haven't already. We have when Batman clutches, uh, clutches the absolute W on Hulk. This was a tragedy. I bring it up every so often that occurred in a crossover comic where Batman saw Hulk and he said, look, you're tough, but you're not that tough. I deal with a pissed off Superman every Tuesday. And he proceeds to kick the shit out of him, gas him, and turn him back into Banner. The fact that Batman just dog walked him like that embarrassing but you know sometimes they do that to the boy hulk but anyways guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below what is your favorite hulk jobber moment what's a hulk jobber moment you want to see on part two remember if you want to see part two smash the like button and run this up to 300 likes make sure to like subscribe and share with all your friends tell them to join goon nation but anyways thank you guys so much for watching it's been your boy jobbers and goons and i'll see y'all later peace